Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we'll talk about how to find the limit using the chain rule. So what is the chain rule? When we first hear chain rule, our minds think about the derivative chain rule. However, this is not the one I'm talking about. Here we can see the chain rule. But what does it mean? We're given the limit of f of g of x as x approaches a. In order to find the limit, first we must take the limit of the inner function g of x as x approaches a. We get the limit b. Then we must replace g of x with u and x approaches a to u approaches b. Now we find the limit of f of u as u approaches b, which is l. So l is the limit. You can use the chain rule when substitution gives you an indeterminate as an answer. You can also use the chain rule with exponential functions, natural log functions, trig functions, and more. First example, we have the limit of ln of 1 over x as x approaches infinity. We'll first identify f of g of x and g of x. We set g of x equal to the inner function. Now we find the limit b. We have the limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity. We'll use substitution and substitute infinity in for x. The limit b is 0. Next, we set g of x equal to u. We now have f of u equals to ln of u. Finally, we find the limit l. We have the limit of ln of u as u approaches 0. We use substitution to substitute 0 in for u and get negative infinity. Negative infinity is the answer. Last example. This one will be a little more complicated. We have the limit of x to the 1 over x as x approaches infinity. We remember the identity a to the x equals e to the x times ln of a. We use this identity to make finding the limit easier. We now have the limit of e to the 1 over x times ln of x as x approaches infinity. We'll first identify f of g of x and g of x. Now we'll find the limit b. We have the limit of 1 over x times ln of x as x approaches infinity. We'll simplify this to ln of x over x. We won't use the substitution method because you can see if we use it, we'll get an indeterminate. So we'll use L'Hopital's rule. We take the derivative of the numerator and get 1 over x. We take the derivative of the denominator and get 1. We simplify the function to 1 over x. Now we'll substitute infinity in for x. We get 0 as the limit. Next, we set g of x equal to u. So we have f of u equals to e to the u. Finally, we find the limit l. We have the limit of e to the u as u approaches 0. We use substitution and get 1 as our limit. This is the answer. Hopefully that wasn't too hard. Mastering the chain rule requires practice. So for more help, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the practice tab.